I asked you, do you prefer to be successful or happy, one of the two, which one would you choose? You don't have to shout it, because if you're like, Ugh, I don't want you to know what I prefer. Here's the deal, you don't have to pick, you guys. That's the beauty of it. You can be successful and happy. So the big goal in brand development is to create a positive client experience and find that success focal point and that happiness, whatever that may be, okay? So you need to define what a positive client experience is for you based on who you are in your brand, end of story. So if you ask me, a positive client experience for me, it's an intimate cooperative process that I go through with my clients. It's really very much that way. What is it for you? I don't know, but this is part of your unique formula that we define for you. It's not an or, you don't have to pick, okay? So with that framework then, people always ask, what about competition? So here's my thing, I don't think any of us has to be in competition with one another. If you truly know what's unique and special about yourself, no one is your competition. Everyone is complementary to you. And I love the language that Danella Meadows puts around this. The only environmental scientist I've ever met. I do not know what these people do for a living. Maybe you do. But she says, you know, the earth says compete, yes, but keep your competition in bounds. Take what you need, leave the rest for others. Don't annihilate. You're not in a war, you're in a community. So when I used to teach the Navy SEALs this, I would put the same slide up and they would look at me like, I don't know what you're talking about, sister, because I just came from war, right? But it's the same notion, okay? It really truly is. And this is to take the stress off of you, okay? And it, we'll talk about the stress element too. So how are we supposed to do all of this? How are we supposed to manage the positive client experience and the brand and the competition aspect. So how are we getting our ducks in a row? I love this slide too, it's just fun. You know, everyone needs a rubber ducky in their life. So here's the deal. This is what I want you guys to try on. I need you to try on being courageous and fearless. Ooh, exciting. So I want you to replace fear with curiosity. Everyone has this component of fear. It just may sprout up in your life in a different way. It may come up in terms of anger, like hesitation, someone moved the deadline on you and you're like, hmm, really upset now. But every time something like that happens, what I want you to do is I want you to go back to the office when this happens in your life and say, instead of going like into fear, say, isn't that interesting? How'd that happen, right? So I'm asking you to have the courage to go into who you are and who you are being, all right? Being safe holds us back, folks. It's not good for us. The brand doesn't develop well. No one wants to be around someone who's too safe and not dynamic enough. Here's the deal. Everything in branding, again, works from the subconscious level. What's that person doing without knowing they're doing that? Do they like me without knowing they're liking me? All of that. The subconscious, though, is the devil as well. So our subconscious tells us, hey, I'm keeping you safe by keeping you in fear, okay? That's a lie. We are not safe when we are in fear. In fact, it's the opposite. So I need you to find this courageousness and fearlessness because being uncomfortable is what helps us grow. So start in here, try on something new, get into discomfort with it and see the distinction for yourself. It's tremendous. 